Hi, in this video, I'll cover a quick example on how to get subtotals out of a list. So let's say, for example, we have this two-column table, and we have five items. Here is item one, a grouping of item one, grouping of item two, three, four, and if I go down, we have a grouping of for item five. But they're not all uh, grouped the same or separated the same. There's one row separating here. There's three rows separating here. And if we want to get subtotals and then a grand total, probably the easiest way to do this is to get rid of the blanks and put it in the pivot table. I'm going to show you two ways to do it. One using a pivot table and one using some combination of formulas and some usage of uh, go to special. So let's start with the pivot table first. I'm going to turn these two columns into a filter column. So I select those columns, go to sort and filter and just create a filter. And after that, I'll just select any one of the columns. I'll just select the value column and just show the blank cells. So I deselect everything and click on blanks, click OK, and all the blanks appear. You can see the row numbers highlighted in blue to indicate that there's some separation. There, there's, this is a filtered, uh, a filtered um, range here. So I'm just select these particular cells here or this row set and right click uh, delete, delete these rows unfilter it, clear my filter, and you can see they've all, they've all disappeared now. So what I can do now is just click anywhere in my range of data, go to insert, click pivot table, it selected my range, I'll put the table here on the existing worksheet, click OK, and start to fill in my table. I'll go put the item into the rows and the value into the values field. So I basically have my subtotals for item 1 is 127, 52 for item 2, and my grand total 485. So that's one way we can do it. So let's see how we can do it another way. Now we have our original data here. What I can do is click on item column B here and go to, select the go to special. Here I'll just select the constants, right? So I'll just select anything that has a, a value in the cell. Click OK, and it's going to select all this. And after that, go to Auto Sum. You can see there's a drop down here where you can sum. You can use these Auto Auto Sum features. So I'm just going to use Auto Sum here. And what it's going to do is it's going to sum up and create that sum function just right below the values where we selected our constants. So right, so we have uh, these here. That's 52. Pre previously we had 127, then we have 52. However, if you notice, there's no grand total, but I'll get to that pretty soon. So let's say we want to highlight our values that are the subtotals. I can select column B again, select find. So I go to special, and all I want to do is just select the formulas because as, as you saw before, that was a sum formula, sum formula or some function. So I'll click OK, and now you notice only those particular cells are uh, highlighted. I'll just click on some kind of color, maybe the fill color here, uh, maybe green is okay. So that's fine. So now I've got my highlighted uh, cells that represent subtotals. What I can do now is kind of filter on those. Select my column A and B again, create my filter, and on the filter, just have it filter by color. Then for these particular rows, I'll select that and press the Alt and semicolon key together. So they're just going to select these rows or these cells where I want to enter subtotal. So sub and then total. And then press control enter to enter that particular uh, value in all those cells. Right? Let's clear my filter. And may, actually, before I do that, let's also uh, make those colors green just like the other ones. Can alt semicolon and have those green too. Right now, I will clear the filter, and we have our subtotals here. Now, if we wanted to get a grand total of all of this, you may think I can do a grand total here. Let me just put it up here so it's a little bit easier to see. If I do a grand total here, and I would have to do equal sum that comma that comma that comma and then let's go down to that comma and then that All right so that's one one way we can do the get our grand total another way we can get our grand total 
is since these are all values and this actually if we added this and that it'd be double so really to get the grand total what we can do is sum up everything here and divide it by 2 right because this 127 if we added 127 plus the sum of these values it occurs twice so all we need to do is sum everything else up together and divide by 2 and we still get that same grand total 485 so that's how we can get our subtotals if we've got this weird table list here and get our grand total out of it and I show you two ways one where we would use it clean it up and put it into a pivot table and the other way if if you don't want to put a pivot table together this is another way we can do it by just using the go to special using some some functions and taking care of it that way so those are the two different ways that we can calculate some subtotals in this particular scenario so I hope that helps thanks for watching